Howdy folks, I'm Summery Sandal, slowly slipping down sandy slopes. I'm Amber. And here are more sandy slopes for us to slip down, because that's what you do when you're a sandal, I guess. Not a slipper. I mean, if you're a sandal at the beach, you might slip down those slopes. Yeah. Let's get started. Alright folks, and our first letter is titled, Am I a jerk for telling my girlfriend that she is not worth marrying after she said that she didn't like her engagement ring? I've been approaching two years with my girlfriend, and things have gone pretty well so far. We've had some up and downs, but we're doing really well in talking about marriage now. Now, here's a little thing about me. I work in healthcare, but due to the nature of my work, I have decent amount of free time. I took up jewelry, metalworking, and started up a little side hustle, making gold and silver jewelry, still working on my platinum skills. My dad also works in Brazil, and he cuts emeralds and precious and semi-precious gemstones. I know that I want to marry my girlfriend, and I wanted to make her an engagement ring, and I wanted to make it special. I made an elaborate leaf design ring with garnets, our birthstone, and 1.5 carat diamond in the middle. I had my dad cut and send me the garnets, and I ordered the diamond from a local dealer. I worked on the band and the setting, and over the course of three months, I put the ring together. It looks something along the lines of this, but with two big leaves of garnet on the side instead of an emerald, without the smaller stones and a marquise cut lab diamond in the center. It easily is the most elaborate piece I have ever designed and put together. I proposed to her at her house and a little get together that I put with the family and she loved the ring, especially after I told her that I made it myself. We had a nice party and I spent the night. Later that morning, she asked me questions about the ring and how long I worked on it, etc. I told her all about it, but her expression changed when she asked how much I spent on it and that it was a lab and not a natural diamond. I asked if the cost was an issue for her, and she said that she doesn't feel like it was a big investment in our relationship. The total cost without labor was $1,200. I didn't keep track, and she prefers real diamonds over lab diamonds. I tried to explain that they're chemically identical, but she asked if I could swap it with a natural diamond. I relented and I said sure and I took the ring back. Driving home, I started thinking about all the other times that she demanded more of me. And I honestly thought that I don't think that anything that I do will be enough for her. I could have spent three months on and off on an amazing ring for her and she'll still nitpick and find fault with it. I think it just clicked in that moment that I had a lot more issues with the relationship than I imagined. I got home and I called her. She didn't pick up. I texted her and I said, we need to talk now. She called a couple of minutes later. I told her that I didn't think that she was worth marrying because of how she treated me over the ring and that I think I need to think about things. She started crying and being defensive, but I was also very emotional and I hung up. She tried calling back several times, but I just let it ring. Her mother and my sister, who's friends with her, tried calling, but I just let it ring. I didn't want to talk anymore. I just really need reassurance before I talk to them. Am I being a jerk for this? And folks, here is the ring that OP was talking about, just so that you can get a general idea about what it looks like. And what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Not the jerk. It sounds like this was like the tip of the iceberg type of situation where OP realized that his partner often makes him feel like he's not good enough. Yeah. And, you know, like, I, like, engagement rings are a tricky thing in some ways, but, like, she was perfectly happy with the ring until she found out the monetary value. I could be un I could understand a little bit more if she was upset because it didn't have like a diamond because those are hardier and if you're wearing them every day there actually is like practical reasons for that but like lab grown versus natural diamond it's no one's going to be able to tell by looking at your ring it's just like a status thing at that point yeah I mean also a lot of diamonds are mined unethically too yeah. and so it would make sense that OP would be fine with a lab cut diamond. I mean, I think that she, again, like you said, was only really concerned with the cost of it. But there's more to a sentimental piece than just the cost, right? Like, 
it probably would have cost more to have it a uh, ring designed like this mm -hmm. and made by a professional than the twelve hundred dollars that yeah. OP spent on it. Right, like that was just the material cost. Yeah. That doesn't account for all of the time and energy that OP poured into this ring. Yeah, not to mention the cuts of the other gems and everything. So I think that OP is right to be upset in this situation. She basically accepted the ring, but then she's like, oh. I don't like it because it's not a real diamond or and you didn't spend enough money on it, right? Right, which is such a strange thing to be hung up on. Like, he spent so much time working on this very, like, heartfelt piece. I can't, again, I just can't imagine being upset that, oh, it's a lab diamond. It's still a 1.5 carat diamond. Like, you have nothing to complain about. Yeah. But let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck. And as Jung Hwa says, I can understand why you were offended and why you don't want to marry her now. But anyone who says you're not worth marrying is the jerk. That is deeply cutting and it will leave a permanent scar, seeing as how it was delivered in the moment when you knew she was vulnerable and the two of you were on very intimate terms. It's like you're using your closeness with someone to get close enough to stick a knife in them. Also, there are just some things that you don't see to a person. This is one of them. You're the jerk. Think of the other things that you could have said about your feelings like I'm offended or your reaction made me realize that we have a real dis disconnect in our values or something else about what had happened between the two of you. That's just what you should have focused on. I don't know. What do you think? Is it Was it wrong for OP to say that? No, I mean... While he could have said things better, he was reacting in the moment. I don't think that it's there's something wrong. Like it's clear he meant you're not worth marrying to me personally. Um, and like it wasn't like he went down and just trashed her and is like you're a garbage person or anything like that. So, I mean, yeah, he could have been more nice about it, but she was also could have been way more nice too. You know what I think? I think that this is a post that was likely translated and that the translation translated it in such a way that made it seem a little more blunt than probably what OP expressed. But I, I don't know for that for sure. I'm just kind of making a guess. I know that translations can sometimes come across as a little bit different. And I think if OP is living in Brazil, then this might not be as bad of a thing to say but i don't know i really don't know I, I, you know it, it's pure speculation maybe it's too much benefit of the doubt and op replies i'm sure it hurts as much as spending three months building a custom ring for her and getting garbage for my efforts or maybe op meant it exactly as it <laughs> is all right folks and our next letter is titled am i a jerk for telling my friend that i've been accidentally sleeping with her fiance burner account because what even is my life right now Oh boy, that's one title I'm aware. I don't really know how to start this, so I will just get into it. I'll preface this by saying that I'm a 22-year-old male and I'm very gay. I was in high school when I met this friend, and she was a cool older kid a year above me. For all intents and purposes, we'll call her Sienna. Now, after high school, I went out of state for college while Sienna went to a local university. We kind of lost touch other than the obligatory happy birthday and Merry Christmas text. You can imagine my surprise when I got a text from my mom a few months ago saying that a wedding invitation from Sienna had gotten delivered to my parents' house. Well, sure enough, a quick text to the lucky lady confirmed that she was getting married. Her longtime partner, Marcus, a 25-year-old male, had finally proposed. A summer wedding right in my hometown, right where I and some of our other friends would be back in town from university. I was invited to one of the pre-wedding girls' nights out because my life is that of the two-dimensional comic relief gay side character, I guess, and we got wasted. Like the kind of drunk where logic isn't even the same dimension. So when the topic of other people and hashtag girl squad relationships came up, I, the genius that I was, whipped out my phone to show them the hot guy that I've been hooking up with as just a dumb summer fling, who turned out to be Marcus. Rightfully so, Sienna got angry. Fair, no criticism for me, but then she turned on me and started blaming me for ruining her wedding. For some clarification, because I'm sure that this will come up in the comments, no, the wedding invitation did not have any photos on it. It was one of those minimalist designs with over-the-top calligraphy. That is it. And her socials only feature her. I had no way of knowing what he even looked like. 
I don't personally think that I was at fault here, but here is where I think that I messed up. I very loudly and to the entire club drunkenly said, it's not my fault that your cheating fiance likes being intimate with me, Sienna. I feel absolutely awful. I don't want to be the other woman, technically guy, but you get it. And I certainly don't want to hurt a friend like that. I tried apologizing a thousand times, but she's not interested in talking to me, which I totally get. When confronted, he confessed not only to hooking up with me, but also eight different guys over the course of their four-year relationship. The wedding has been called off. Am I the jerk? All right, folks, what do you think? Marcus is the jerk. I mean, OP and Sienna, it seems like... They're, they were drunk. They reacted about as well as they could in the situation. Maybe they could have said things differently, but no one was trying to be hurtful. No one did this intentionally. I can understand why Sienna is really upset and hurt by this. I can also understand why OP is like upset by the situation. And so, yeah, Marcus the cheater is the jerk. So... I kind of get the impression that OP came home for this for the summer, right? Mm -hmm. And while he was home for the summer, this is when he started hooking up with Marcus. So in the short period of time that OP was back from college, he managed to engage in a relationship with this person. Now, if you ask me, that says, I mean, that's that's a pretty it, it, it's clear that Marcus was looking in on mm -hmm. the hunt, right? Now, I think that this is a favor to Marcus as well, because maybe he can start focusing on improving himself and becoming a better person and not sneaking around behind people's backs, right? I think that Marcus needs to grow up and not treat people like they're commodities, essentially, right? Like, while I understand why she would be upset about this, I think that she's out of line for blaming OP, you know? But let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck. All right, folks, and our next letter is titled, Am I a jerk for not paying my boyfriend's portion of the rent? My fiance, a 27-year-old, and I, a 25-year-old, have been living together for a little under six months now. Living together has shown me that he isn't the man that he led me to believe that he was. He has quit his job in less than six months and has started driving for Uber full-time. I put full-time in quotes because he basically only drives roughly four to six hours for a few days a week while taking numerous breaks during his shifts. I work a regular 9 to 5, 40 hours a week. Nonetheless, we came to an agreement on how we would split the rent, utilities, and groceries. I cover the portion of my rent and all the utilities and all of the groceries for the month. We have a very understanding landlord who allowed us to pay rent late in July, but I wasn't aware at this point that my fiancé only sent my portion but never sent his. With it now being the first of the month, I sent my portion again and he used it to cover the very late rent from last month. I wasn't aware of this yet. My birthday is coming up in a week and my very generous parents sent me $2,000 to use on furniture and new clothes. I made the mistake of making him aware of the gift. And that's when he told me that he used what I sent him to pay last month's late rent and would like me to use the $2,000 to pay for this month's rent to give to him to save up to get us back on track. For some backstory, he has told me countless times that he has everything under control and I even went as far as telling them that I could have my grandparents pay last month's rent for us and he denied it multiple times. So I put my trust in him when he told me that he's got this. So now I'm being guilted for not using my money gifted to me for covering yet another month of his rent. Am I the jerk for saying no? Edit, for those saying to leave him, that is 100% the plan. I'm only finding out about his lies within the past 24 hours of writing this post, and I just needed some extra confirmation that I'm indeed not the jerk. All right, folks, what do you think? Not the jerk. He's lying to you and uh, trying to take your money, and yeah, I'm glad you're breaking up with him. Mm hmm Well, I think that, especially given the whole context that he used this money in an inappropriate way. Mm -hmm. like. He didn't tell OP that he hadn't paid the rent properly. And then he has the audacity to be like, oh, just give me the $2,000 mm -hmm. so that I can pay rent. So what? So he can go blow it on whatever he wants to blow it on? I don't know. I don't know that I trust him at all. I wouldn't trust him with any money ever again because clearly he's just going to take it and use it for his own devices. Yeah. So I think that OP is right to want to dump him because he doesn't seem like a trustworthy partner. 
I'm sorry that OP had to find out like this, but better late than never. But let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck. All right, folks, and our next letter is an update. I'm a 28-year-old female and my husband, a 30-year-old male, got arrested and won't tell me what for. How do I proceed? And folks, this one was pretty much the title where OP had a her husband, they came and bailed them out of jail and their husband refused to tell them what exactly they went to jail for. Edit, I have the charges. It was trespassing and resisting arrest when the cops showed up. I don't have all the details or the bandwidth right now to explain everything. Basically, someone reported him for being on their fire escape and looking in their window. He was adamant that it wasn't sexual, but his excuses just don't make any sense. I'm sorry, I can't explain any more right now. I'll do a better update if I can in a few days, and I'm just exhausted. Thank you to everyone for the advice. All right, folks, what do you think of that update? I mean, I at least OP knows something now. Yeah. I mean, I think that OP hopefully will be able to get out of this situation mm -hmm. and won't actually have to deal with this anymore. Unfortunately, their account has been now deleted on Reddit, so it's going to be hard to find any additional details. But I wish OP nothing but the best of luck in sorting out their life here. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, it is tea time. Grab your beverages of choice. I've got some tea right here. And Amber, she has a joke. Fred, when my brother goes to the zoo, he needs two tickets. Ted, why? Fred, when to get in and when to get out. I mean, I don't know that I understand what Fred is doing, and I think he's being scammed by the zoo. <laughs> and I have Earl Grey. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Spectacular Saturday, folks. I hope your Saturday is off to a spectacular start. Amber, we need some kind of moral advice and or guidance. And please have it in the form of an unappreciated gift. Here's a gift. Folks, the uh, 0 0.2 millimeter pencil has made an, a reappearance once more. <laughs> it's an appreciated gift. I don't know that it well, isn't. You already own it. Like, I've been borrowing it from you, so it's <laughs> hardly a gift. You shouldn't appreciate me handing you back your own pencil. Oh, I do. Thank you. I appreciate it. Alright. Oh, an eraser. <laughs> <laughs> and the simple oh, things oh, in I've life. Oh, I've got it. Oh. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. Jovial Bob sign <laughs> joke. I appreciate it. Much appreciation. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.